this session, I will explain how to take actions when a quadrant sector gap occurs when machining a circle. If a sector gap occurs at the quadrant position while machining a circle, actions can be taken by tuning the servo using the ball bar test or servo guide program. However, even if there is no ball bar or servo guide program, the problem can be solved by modifying the relevant parameters and machining the test sample. The quadrant sector gap may occur when machining a circle because there is a slight difference in the backlash of each axis depending on the feed rate. In particular, the sector gap can occur in the box guide machine due to the change in the gib contact surface and change in backlash when the machine is used for a long time. To take actions, measure the backlash of each axis according to the machining speed and correct it in parameter number 1851-1852. Adjust the backlash acceleration and second stage backlash acceleration parameter. Check whether the number 6 bit value of parameter number 2015 is 1. Set parameter 2114 value to 5 in all axes. Set parameter 2048 value to minus 50 in all axes. Set parameter 2082 value to 15 in all axes. Set parameter 2089 value to 45 in all axes. Enter 100 as the value for parameter 2039 for the LM machine or enter 200 for the box guide machine. Then check while machining a test sample by adding 25 to the setting value for all axis. However, the GIB assembly status and contact surface should be checked for the box guide machine. That is the end of my explanation on how to take actions when a quadrant sector gap occurs when machining a circle.